canal patrocinado por Instant Gaming. Juegos al 70% de descuento, link en la descripción. Un saludo. Muy buenas a todos, muy buenas a todas, ¿qué tal estáis? Bienvenidos de vuelta al canal y bienvenidos de vuelta a The Walking Dead. Estamos en el episodio 2, ¿vale? Del primer juego. Ambientos de ayuda. Vamos a comenzarlo. Nos quedamos justamente por aquí, ¿vale? Al comienzo del capítulo 2. El episodio 2. Y vamos a ver, porque esto, en lo de próximamente en The Walking Dead, se ponía interesante. I know who you are. Aquí tienes un resumen. Oh, give a shit about what happens to you but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you <laughs> you watch your ass vale pues creo que ese es el resumen vale es decir que es un juego de decisiones es lo que dice en pantalla y según lo que decidamos pues pasarán cosas u otras A ver dónde estamos. Creo que nos quedamos en la gasolinera, ¿no? Así empezamos ya. Vale. ¿Y este quién es? Looks like a rabbit. Well, that's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food and Este es nuevo months. porque no estaba antes. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Nombrando tipos de pasteles, tío. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Quiero uh, arrancar la caravana, ¿no? Kenny won't abandon us. No. He's a good man. No, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. El Larry es el viejo, sí. A ese no lo vamos a salvar. He thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Venga ya, hombre. Algo va a pasar por aquí porque nos están dejando mucha, mucho recorrido aquí, ¿no? Eh, no. Yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. No puede disparar. 
Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. A ver quién es. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, what? You guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, god damn it, get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? What the hell happened? Mr. Parker said we should stay off the streets. We were trying to be careful, but... Uh... Pero queréis quitarle eso, por Dios. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bit? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. Muertos ahora encima. Lee, the trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Wow. Mal asunto, oh, no. eh. Shit, walkers. It's now or never leave. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Can it? Keep those walkers off of me. There has to be a way out of this. No, la piedra, yo creo que no, eh. There's got to be something we can do. Stop, stop, stop. Amigo, vienen los zombies. Va a tocar hacer esto, ¿sabes? Yo lo siento mucho. Pero es lo que hay, crack. ¿Quieres vivir? Vas a ser cojo. Es un para... Eh... Vamos, que se ha quedado inconsciente, pero hay que llevárselo. Y ya está. Venga. Behind you. Travis. Come on, come on, we gotta move. A ver, Travis. Adiós, Travis. Vale. Comienzo interesante. Están muy aburridos, ¿no? De momento, chicos, este juego me está encantando la historia. A ver, Clementine, un, un poquito de por favor. Lee, 
What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Come on, Lily, these are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the Walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Yo sé que te voy a cortar los cojones a ti, viejo. You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. Yo lo hago, tú tranquila. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Tranquila, yo lo reparto. Tú no comes. Y tu padre menos. Ok. Pero es que la unión hace la fuerza, chicos. No se puede... Cualquier superviviente que se pueda... Aprovechar para trabajar en conjunto En esa situación no se debe Desaprovechar, ¿no? Que sí, que se va a pasar hambre Pues sí Yo le voy a dar de comer a los chicos A los pequeños Vale No hablemos con Katja, a ver Claro just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. It's what your husband wanted. <laughs> Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. <laughs> well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Vale. Bueno, lo de la comida luego la lo vemos. A ver dónde está Clementine. Hablamos con ella. A ver, me dibujo un gatito. How are you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I hope he will. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Vamos a darle de comer. Want something to eat? Espera, todavía no. Quiero a Clementine. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Mm. Galletas y queso. Eso mismo. Okay. A Sunday would be better. No, mejor para la niñita. 
I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, when are we gonna get some food? Vale. Pues a este algo diferente. Hey Duck. Pues si quieren compartir o algo, pues. Vale. Eh, mitad de una manzana. Here. Oh heck yes. Is there peanut butter? No. What do you think, Duck? No, probably not. A este luego. Lo que vamos es hablar con él. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Claro. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. La gorra, ¿no? Oh, okay, sí, es cierto. Claire. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Vale. Hay que hablar con este. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. <clears throat> so who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is ben Mr. Paul. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. Uh, I'm sure you está. did all you could. Yeah. Le damos maybe. apoyo esta vez. Eh, vamos Relax. a salir. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Este con la preocupación no creo que tenga mucha hambre. Vale. A ver qué hace este. Hey, no. <coughs> What's up, Lee? ¿En qué estás trabajando? ¿Qué estás trabajando, Doug? He trabajado un pequeño sistema de advertencia para el fuera. ¿Funciona? 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 Debería. Tenemos que esperar y ver. Vale. Eh, le vamos a dar comida a este, ¿no? Carne seca. En realidad, ¿por qué no te mantienes mi parte hoy? I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me and not Carly, but I owe you a lot more than half a day's rations. Hey, if Doughboy doesn't want vale. his food, hand it this way. It doesn't work like that. I'll decide who gets the food. I'll decide smart. You don't really want to piss me off, do you? Sí, quiero hacerte enojar, a ver qué pasa. De hecho, no se la voy a dar. Quedan dos pedazos de comida, vale. Antes se la doy al nuevo que es. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Ah, I got sixty cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Es que es tonto, eh. Here. Te voy a dar la comida delante suya. Toma. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No. Nope. Come on, Larry, give I it a no. rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Te la cruz. Mm. No sé lo que ha dicho. That's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Que sí, que sí. Es tu rollo. Que te quedas sin comer. Ok. 
queda un pedazo de comida. Para alguien más. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. ¿Esto qué es? La pelota, ¿no? At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Vale. Eh, ¿Y qué ni? Aquí. Words getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Vale. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. La verdad es que la costa suena muy bien. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Okay. Antes, eh, lo de la comida, antes de dársela a Kenny, voy a probar a dársela a su mujer. Vale. Y si no me deja acercarme por lo de antes, que ha dicho que le deje espacio, pues se la daremos a Kenny. Sí, sí se puede. Here, eat something. Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with ya your mess right now. I need space, Lee. Vale, pues a cagar. A tu marido. A ver, por aquí no, por aquí. Venga. ¿Por qué no se la dais? Want something to eat? Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Cheap. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Claro, primero los niños. Y ahora, ella y su padre se quedan sin comer. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. <laughs> Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with la your choices. De Kenny. You're out! What happened to my food? En, en There's none culo. left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't no make it, contenta, did he? Eh? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been claro. a rough morning. Es. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Claro, pero... What the fuck? He contestado lo que he contestado, eh. Ay, por Dios, tío. Pero venga a darle, tío. Pero ¿por qué no le dais? Pero qué cojones. <risa> Pero qué cojones. Pero qué coño ha pasado ahí, eh. Venga, vamos ahora. Venga. I got him. Venga. Venga, te alejas. Venga. 
Oh. Push it off. I don't want to hit you. No me fío de ti. Que antes eso fallaba. ¿eh? Madre mía. Thanks. No problem. We gotta watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Cierto. Por lo menos eso en la serie también pasa, ¿eh? We're all infected. Everyone. I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Vale. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Hey. ¿Qué pasa aquí? Doug, it works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so, but they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. Vale. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No, we have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough. Oh shit. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look. We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Well, Lee, why don't you and check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a vale. deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Mm-hmm. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Claro. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. It probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. Ugh, I shouldn't have turned down that food you offered me earlier. Mira que te lo dije. There's one runaway train at thought. <laughs> Sorry. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It was just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. But, I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Eh... Me muevo mucho. Right here in the bueno, heart of Georgia. No sé por qué That's cojones. what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor end. Uh, 
Who's running things over there? Uh, we work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to seeing him. We'll tema. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? What? Shut down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Bandidos, no? Like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. Real. And you guys were keeping it all for yourself. What we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do? Hey, el chico. Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered. Había dicho que los que atacaron su campamento estaban encapuchados. Fuck you! Como esos. What the fuck? A saber quién es. Bueno, a la lechería, ¿no? Ve si nos dan suministros de comida. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Sí, oh, pero wow. eso con un you zombie no es vale. Pero cuando hay un huevo... Yeah. No sé yo si será muy eficaz. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a no, few more friends staying at Michael. the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military uh -huh. experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! <laughs> Sorry. Comete uno y punto. Can't get stuff like that anymore. <laughs> Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Joder, la cara de la tía esta no me inspira confianza, eh. Y el de la derecha tampoco. Why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? El de la derecha tiene también cara tuptico, ¿no? Round up everyone for the trip back here. Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. Vale. All right. See you later. En Kakeni no sé si le va a gustar la idea de venirse aquí, pero bueno. Mark Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. 
Okay. We can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before Vamos we can think about the way we're here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Yeah, the con un pie se puede arreglar, tío. Eso no pasa nada. Things not working that we just can't see yet. Supongo que se puede arreglar. Defense perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Vale. Vamos a inspeccionar un poquito por aquí. Um, vale. el columpio que dices, ¿no? Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like okay. it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. A ver, pues la madera pues estará por algún lado, ¿no? Tenemos una hacha igualmente. Para poder hacerlo. ¿Eso qué es? Uy. No es puntiagudo, joder. Aquí tenemos de madera, ¿sabes? Vale. Cogemos la sierra. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Vale. Y se la guarda en el bolsillo atrás. Claro que sí, hombre. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Claro. Yep. Can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Perfecto, me gusta la idea. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Uh. Yeah, if you need some extra to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully, it'll never come to that. But thanks. <laughs> we can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Vale. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Mm -hmm. Antes de salir al perímetro, vale? Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. Vamos a arreglar el columpio. What's that? Generator. You guys vale. come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Vale. Pues 
pues vamos a... ¡Ay! Se puede pasar para la casa, ¿vale? Primero vamos a arreglar esto. Necesitamos cuerda. ¿Y dónde cojones está la cuerda? Vale. Puerta principal. Premios. Canasto de zapatos. Me acuerdo, ¿eh? Perfecto. Los premios. No se ve muy bien, ¿vale? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Por lo que se ve de fondo, la granja es grande. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left to daddy. That's why we take such good care of it and why we want to share it with good vale. folks like yourselves. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. Vale. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Mm. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep vale. some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. Bueno, de la habitación y la cena no pasa nada. Feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Pero me suena raro que no me deje pasar, ¿vale? Arreglamos eso, el columpio, y lo dejaremos por aquí, chicos. All right. This shouldn't be too tough. Now, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Qué rapidez. Did you say something, darling? Oh, my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night <laughs> when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Bueno, chicos, ahora sí que sí. Vamos a dejar el vídeo por aquí. Espero que os haya gustado. Se pone, se pone guay. Me resultan un poco raros. Vale, sinceramente, esta gente. Sobre todo el hermano pequeño y, y la madre. Y bueno, chicos, pues ya sabéis, si os ha gustado, reventar el like, suscribirse para más. Y luego continuaremos con más, con más de Walking Dead, ¿vale? Nos vemos en el siguiente vídeo, chicos. Un beso, un abrazo y chao, gente. Es puro esfuerzo, trabajo, lucha y pasión Atacante en Rocket Like, asesino en Overwatch Te adelanta con el coche Need for Speed Underground Y si va de crear matos también trae Hearthstone Y es que no tiene fin, protataxis de King His pure skill for the entire family Do you want to meet it? Brother thoughts nothing, prepare everyone to meet I can fly like a bird